Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Archeum that are teaching this word. This is um, Jeremiah 7 and 16. It says, Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Yeah, that, that was the, um, the Lord saying to Jeremiah, pray not thou for this people. Okay? Basically, like, most of our people, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which you're the true um, Israelites according to the Bible, are not going to receive this knowledge, man. Okay? Like, in Christianity, they'll tell you that, you know, that, that everyone can be saved. You know, Jesus loves. Okay? Which, that's not his name. But the Bible tells you different. The Bible tells you, why did the scriptures say, pray not thou for this people, which is referring to the, the nation of Israel. Okay? Because mo like most of our people are not going to be saved, man. The Bible's for a specific few, an elect, a chosen few that are going to be delivered out of the hells to come. Okay? So let me read that again. This is, um, Jeremiah 7 and 16. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry, neither lift up a cry, nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. So yeah, ba basically, two thirds of our people and uh, wicked Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans throughout the four corners of the earth, there's destruction coming, man. But then there's an election that's going to be saved. So it said, this, the Lord said, pray not thou for this people. Because the Lord has a, has a, a, a select few, man. You know, a chosen few, basically. You know? So let me, there's more, I'm going to get some more scriptures on it. Because the Bible's not for the whole world, man. It's not for everybody, man. Okay? Not like in them churches, they'll teach you God loves and all that. God loves everybody. But then they don't bring out, they, why don't they read these scriptures? The Lord just said, pray not thou for these people. What's that talking about? You know? So, um, I've got another scripture here. This is, um, excuse me, this is Second Ezra's. Second Ezra's 8 and 51. It says, for, or, let me read this for, for, from 50. It says, For many great miseries, Second Ezra's 8 and 50, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. So the, the scripture says, Many great miseries are coming, man. Many great miseries in the latter times, which we are in currently. We're in the latter times. We're in the last days, man. You know? In the latter times... Um, many great miseries shall uh, come unto them, yeah? It says, in the latter time, it, it, that dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, because they've walked puffed up and proud, man. Basically, a lot of people is going to be destroyed, man. A lot of people are going to be destroyed, man. So the scriptures ain't for the whole world. The scriptures ain't for everybody, man. Why is the Lord saying that many great miseries are coming? Because there's going to be a deliverance, but then there's going to be a, 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 a great destruction as well, man. Okay? It says... This is the Lord talking on, speaking to Ezra, man. You know, it says, "But understand thou for thyself, and seek." And this is what the Lord saying to Ezra: "Understand thou for thyself. Understand what this knowledge, this knowledge, man. Understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Yeah, for such. Understand thou the, this knowledge for yourself, and 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 seek out glory for such as be like thee. Meaning, basically, men like-minded men that that." Believe in this faith, man. That are uh, that believe in Yahweh, Barshem Yahushai. That know that the Lord, the Heavenly Father, and His Son are so-called black men. That know that the Israelites, uh, are, which are spoken of all throughout the Bible, are the chosen people of the Lord. That the Israelites are the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That know that only us elect are going to be saved at this uh, this time round. Only an elect are going to be saved, because that's part of the knowledge too. Okay, it says it says. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee, like-minded men. Okay? The elect, Lord willing, you know, Lord willing are part of that number and all the brothers doing this work throughout the four corners of the earth are part of that number, man. The chosen, Lord willing. Okay? And then it says, it says, For unto you is paradise opened and the tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plenteousness is made ready. A city is builded and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness, it says, weakness and moth is hid from you. And corruption is fled unto hell to be forgotten. That's the times that are coming, man.
We're gonna be at, finally be at rest, man. But we gotta get out of this, this hell, man. This this slavery that we're in, physically, mentally. We we totally gotta to be changed from this place, man. This place is our oppression, okay. But only the elect, only the elect of Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, of the children of Israel are gonna receive this knowledge. It ain't for the whole world, man, okay. Because most of the people, like the Christian churches, they'll tell you God loves everybody and all that, yeah? The Lord says to the... But the scriptures tell you different. The scriptures tell you the Lord said to depart from the ways of this world, man. Which is the thinking, the philosophies. Okay? The churches don't tell you to hate this world, man. The churches don't tell you that the so-called white man's Esau. They're telling you lot that God loves everybody. Everyone can be saved. That's not in the Bible, man. The Bible tells you about death, destruction, man. It tells you, man. Okay? And then it says, it says, sorrows are past, and in the end it is showed, it says, sorrows are past, and in the end it showed the treasure of immortality. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Because Ezra was asking the Lord about basically being compassionate towards Israel, man. Being compassionate towards the, our people. But then the Lord was telling him, look, seek out the knowledge for such as be like unto you, man. Them that are in this knowledge, because a lot, most of our people ain't hearing this. We go out there week in and week out every Saturday, yeah, and push videos on the YouTube, right? Every Saturday we go out there to push the word, but then a lot of our, most of our people they fan their hand at this. So if the Lord ain't gonna save someone that's just fanning his hand at the truth, man, are disrespecting the knowledge. There's, but the Lord is gonna save them that wake up and come back to Him, repent back out of these people, okay? You know, fanning their hand. Laughing at us, making mockery, ma putting the comments on the comment board. That's the, um, the majority of our people do, man. You know? And that's the truth. Okay? And it says, sorrows are past. Okay, sorrows are past. And in the end, it, it showed the treasure of immortality. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Yeah, that perish because the multitude of them that perish. Because a lot more people are going to die than are going to be saved, man. In these last days. Okay? And then it says... For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High. They despised the Most High, thought scorn of His law, and forsook His ways. Moreover, they have well. That's what it is, you know. The most of our people they have forgotten, the, forgotten who they are, man, and may despise the Most High's ways, man. You know, so the Lord has an election out of His own people, man. But then He's got uh, a mass majority of Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that are going to perish in these last days, man. You know? Okay? And then, and then it's happening already. Look at what happened in Puerto Rico, man. The island got basically sw swept swept up, man. And that and uh, Puerto Ricans are the tribe of Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, which are the tribe of Ephraim in the Bible. They're one of the 12 tribes. But the Lord killed a lot of um, uh, Ephraimites. The Lord killed a lot of Puerto Ricans over there, man. And they're his people. So look at that. That shows you the Lord's about death and destruction too, man. The Lord controls all things. Okay. Um, this is a... Uh, another scripture here. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and, and 13. It says, it says, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when? But inquire and how the ungodly... That's them that... That's the mass majority of our people that are just... That scorn... That make scorn of this truth, man. That make fun of the prophets, the brothers teaching his word throughout the four corners of the earth, man. It says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when? Because, yeah, they're going to be punished. That Their time of punishment's coming. Okay, via these nuclear missiles, via the race wars, via the um, martial law troops. Okay? And then it says, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Yeah, because the the the... The righteous are the elect, the brothers that are going to be delivered, man, from the times to come. Who, who's the world, who the world is created for, okay? But right now we're just in a lower state, we've got to push this word now. All we're here for now is to teach this truth until the Lord returns, until Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Saviour, makes his second return, man. You know, to, to get us out of here, Lord willing, okay? And then it says, who, who's the, for whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Okay? So, it's, and it said it again, many more are going to perish 
then of them that are going to be saved. Okay? There's going to be a lot of death and destruction in these days, man. And it's, it's, it's happening now. You know? Okay? Uh, this is a... Uh, get another one here. Man, 16. And, and it's happening and it's happening now, man. You know? Okay, this is a... Uh, excuse me. Bear with me a second. This is the book of Romans 9 and and uh, okay. uh, Romans 9 and 6 it says it says neither because they are the sea 9 and 6 not as though the word of the Lord have taken none effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel so they are not all Israel which are of Israel that's basically talking about look the Israelites are the Negroes Hisp Latinos and Native Americans right but then they are not all Israel which are of Israel, man. Because the Lord has a, he, a chosen out of, out of his own people. He has an election that's going to be saved. He has a, a, a few good men, so to speak, that are going to be saved. So not all Israel is of Israel, man. Okay, they don't, like a, a lot of our people, they don't know who they are. They don't know Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's why the scripture says here, it says, it says, I'll read it again. It says, um, not as though the word of the Lord have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So amongst Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites, there's a chosen amongst them, man. That's the election, that's the elect. Okay? So I'll get, I'll get um, another scripture here. This is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So what do our people seek? Our people seek truth. That's why they, well, they delve into all these different philosophies. Islam, Buddhism, um, Egyptology. F thinking that that's the ways of truth. But really the way of truth is the scriptures, the Bible. Knowing that you're an Israelite, man. Knowing that you're part of the 12 tribes. Knowing that Yahweh Barshim Yahshai is your God. Knowing who your power is. But it says that Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. That's the truth. Our people have not, most of our people have not obtained this, the truth. Okay? But the election, the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So the chosen few have obtained it, but the rest of our people have been blinded, man. And that's how it's going to be until the end, man. And the election are going to be delivered out of the perils that are coming in these last days, man. Okay? So with that, I'm just going to say all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honours to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akiyam that are teaching his word. Shalom.